Hello again. <laughs> and as welcome to Emily. Because this is this is Topkal. Topkal means to Grakal, the highest peak in North Africa, the best valley in Emily. In a Yusuf, I wish you good luck. I want you as a witness. How do you like this Moroccan carpet? How soft is this one? It's beautiful carpet. Uh -huh. It's the soft handmade. Wow, it's a soft yeah. and handmade. Also, I want to teach you something. This, you can use it as a reversible side. Winter time side. And summer time. Summer time side. Yeah. You mean, if you buy this, you pay winter time side, summer time side for yes. free. Yes. <laughs> you like this. Salam so Dad. First of all, thank you for having me here. Can I introduce myself to your follower? Yes, it will be great, Nana. Thank you. So, my name is Mira. Family name, Eitenberg. I am, our nickname is Bunise. I am 11 years old. I am a student. I was born in Ahmed village, which is located in Emil Valley, Olgera Valley. Baba. Naam Emily. Can you tell me about Amazigh tea? Yes, yes, please. <laughs> I like the way I like the way that you said Baba. Okay, I will tell you about Amazigh tea. There are three. There are three style of Amazigh tea. There are three style. There are, there are three types of Amazigh tea. We will stay with one because we have no time. We want to make a short video. Tomorrow or this week, inshallah, we will carry on if we still in life, inshallah. The number one is Atata, means we enjoy our time. If you, if you count, Malak, if you count, it's been like one hour we just we mix the tea me and you and I we discuss and we mix the tea we are not drink tea yet and number one is sometimes if you are outside of your house you pray at the mosque or you visit someone in, in, in the village you meet someone in the street you invite him to drink me tea in your house because imazir in culture our culture is if you meet someone in the village, you invite him to drink mint tea in your house. The role of, the, of, of this tea is when you invite people to drink mint tea in your house, this is what we call like a charity, like sadaqa. This tea, it keeps the community like one family. It keeps the community strong and it keeps the community they fall in love with each other because in my village right now in Arman we still have this culture one invite each other to drink tea in his house which is we have not enemy all the community all the people in the village they love each other and also if you invite people to drink tea in your house sometimes you walk on the street you find like a group of people sitting by the road. When you say salamu alaikum, all of them they say wa alaikum salam with big smiling. Why? Because you fed them, you gave them a tea, and you invite them to your house. That's why people love you. Which is when you give a tea with sugar, tea is a very sweet. Also, kalima, your words, it's very sweet. People love you so much and keep and as I told you, this tea it keeps the community the, 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 the community of the village like one love each other alhamdulillah we hope this culture keeping on inshallah tomorrow or after tomorrow i will explain to you the second one and the third one it will be it will be great you will love it so much it's a lot of things hidden on the tea the tea it's not just like a tea the tea is something there. I wish you good luck and thank you very much for this. Thank you.